What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Keep Your Career Mode. I know FIFA 21 is now out and there will be a Keep Your Career Mode starting on that very soon. But I do want to finish this one first because we're almost at the end now. Uh, only a couple more episodes left, provided that we can get past all the rounds until the Champions League final. And then obviously I have to sign Maguire and James just for Harris, um, which I will do, don't worry. But in the last 16, the first knockout round, we played Real Madrid, who are quite a hard team. You know, we didn't get nice really with the draw despite winning all our group games. But straight away we had a chance. Bogle played it through to Dorison. And my plan was to counter in this game because typically against the bigger clubs, they want to attack us. And that leaves a lot of space. And we have a very fast attack with Dorison and De La Vega on the wings. Morris is quite quick now, as he's also very quick. So if we could just get the ball and play it through to those four players, we would be in a very good position to, to take a lead to West London. And we took the lead within four minutes, thanks to Dorison. A few minutes later, we had another chance. Morris's shot, though, was saved by Courtois. I probably should have squared it, but we still had the ball. Dorison played it back here into Morris, who took the shot, but it was blocked. And Dorison got the rebound, his second of the game. After 12 minutes, we were 2-0 up against Real Madrid, away from home, which is pretty mental, to be honest. Like, I didn't expect this. Especially not this early, you know, we were, we pinned them down there, they couldn't get the ball out of their box really and we punished them, we went 2-0 up, Dawson's only his third goal in the Champions League this season but uh, these two are very, very important. And then not long after, we had another chance, Bogle once again playing it to Dawson, he had a lot of space once again on this right wing, played it back into De La Vega but that block from the Real Madrid defender was absolutely insane, Courtois was beaten and if he wasn't there, we would have made it 3-0. Um, the corner didn't really do anything for us, but we were again attacking just after half an hour gone. Uh, Dawson had another chance, but his shot went wide this time. Uh, we were really pinning Real Madrid down here, but then Roberts did a carrius and um, passable straight to Insigne. And our lead was halved, but it was fine because just before half time we had another chance here Ezzy could he restore a two goal lead cut back and of course he could just the drag back sent the defender and then he just finessed it into the corner as he's been insane this season he's scoring a lot of goals especially in the Champions League getting a lot of assists in the Prem as well off camera um, but yeah, that was a very very nice finish you know straight in between the defender and the goalkeeper and he restored our two goal lead just before half time which uh, I felt we deserved you know we played very well in this game especially in this first half we were definitely better than Real Madrid we created a lot of chances it's a shame that Roberts uh, gave the ball straight to Insigne but it is what it is and in the second half in the 70th minute or 69th minute actually <laughs> 69 uh, Morris <laughs> had a chance and he just smashed it as hard as he could and Courtois could not do anything he just went into the top corner we were to make it 4-1 got past the defender and then smash Courtois thought it was gonna go low tried to stretch his legs to stop it but he was not getting anywhere near that and yeah we had a chance right before the final whistle with Morris again but he took it on his left foot for some reason his weak foot is absolutely terrible luckily on FIFA 21 you can train that however um, but yeah, we couldn't do anything from the corner and we won 4-1 away from home it was an insane lead to take back to London I was not expecting anything like that I would have been happy with like a even being like 2-1 down or something because the away goal I thought was would be insane but we had 4 so Rom just had to come here and win 4-0 or 5-1 or something or actually 5-2 would have done as well so they had to beat us by 3 goals and score at least um, 4 but straight away well not straight away 25 minutes in it was a slower start to this one as you can see the first shots coming in the 25th minute uh, Morris had the uh, chance and he just smashed it in. It was a really 
I don't know, it, it looked like a Harry Kane-esque finish, you know. Kamavinga played the ball wonderfully through, a lot of space, and he just smashed it into the corner. Again, Courtois again beaten. Morris, since coming back from injury, has been insane these two games, you know. Um, but like I said, a much slower start to this game. No one was really dominating, no one really created a lot of chances. But in the second half, we wanted to make sure that we were in a position to just completely relax. And De La Vega here had a chance. Uh, he cut back, but the shot hit the crossbar. So unlucky. And 10 minutes later, Roman just had a chance here. The same play from uh, Vinicius Jr. to play it back to Insigne, but what a save from Roberts to keep it uh, at 1 0 in the game and 5 1 on aggregate. And then five minutes after that, De La Vega had a chance here, just ghosted past the player, then went past centre back and still had the ball somehow. And he finessed it into the corner, similar to Ezzy's goal from the first leg, makes it 2 0, uh, does that calling celebration hopefully no one is calling him about any offers but anyway um, yeah it was we did get lucky that the ball stayed with him but that finish was very good straight into the bottom corner nothing Courtois could do and just for the 70th minute mark we went 2-0 up on the night 6-1 on aggregate Real Madrid now needed 5 and just a couple of minutes later we had another chance again Real Madrid committed so many players forward which left our attackers in a lot of space and Dilrosson was through one on one and he just casually chipped Courtois nothing he could do to stop that and we went 3-0 up just a couple of minutes after going 2-0 up on the night so we were destroying them at this point, 7-1 on aggregate there was no comeback for them now it was just, they had to consider, did they want to just damage, limitate us or did they want to go out with pride you know I mean they were out anyway at this point so it didn't really matter and again we got the ball just a couple minutes later Leko who came on played it through into Morris who was through once again and once again he applied the finish to make it 4-0 8-1 on aggregate within the space of under 10 minutes we just completely kicked Real Madrid out of the game destroyed all their hopes burnt their chances of going through into the quarterfinal and yeah you know I didn't feel bad I don't like Real Madrid like forget them in it so in the same we were playing really well here and we had another chance here with Leko got the ball on the edge of the area and he finessed it into the bottom corner as well what a goal that was from Leko he's always such a good impact sub to bring on and he just really put the final nail in the coffin for Real Madrid in this game like if, if they even thought they had a chance of coming back it was definitely gone after this what a goal that's probably even better than De La Vega's finish just because of where it was very similar though in the sense that it was into the bottom corner his fourth goal of the Champions League as well and yeah Real Madrid were just getting battered differently here but they they wanted to attack obviously they didn't want to just lay down and cry and let us just have our way with them so they had a chance here with four nails he went through and he just smashed it in good finish good goal a bit too little too late um you can see there no one even celebrated with him because they knew it doesn't matter like we we were out at this point just get back to your own half and finish the game mate but it, it was a good shot can't lie into the corner can't blame Roberts for that, it was just an insane finish. And um, yeah, that's how the game finished. We outplayed them differently. We deserved to go through, and we did. And in the quarterfinals, we are going to be playing Bayern Munich, the treble winners in real life. 